Alright guys, got this thing back on its own feet again. Uh, it was a lot of work. I ended up having to change the trusses out on the axles. The ones that came on the new axles were just a little bit taller and I didn't want to have to re-engineer the links and get everything, pinion angles and stuff set right. So just took those off and cleaned them up. They sit nice and low. Those I guess, I don't know, those seem different. Those might actually have been steel and those may have been an RC Model X specific uh, four link truss. So went ahead and reused that. And I've got my ESC came in finally from uh, RC Hobbies Orlando. They got it all soldered up and got a BEC with it. So we're ready to move on to electronics. The I got lucky and had just enough shock fluid to uh, fill all four of those shocks. And they feel pretty good. We've definitely got some tuning to do on the uh, springs because we're bottomed out in the front. This thing is again very, very heavy. The main thing we did at the beginning of the video, the uh, revolver, the shaft on the uh, for the pinion gear, just a little bit too long. I thought it was in a bind. It was hard to tell because you can't really see it, but I had so much grease in it that when I took it off, you could see where the shaft had been hitting the gear below it. So I had to grind that down a little bit, spent some time cleaning it up because it has to be nice in to be able to put the pinion gear on. But got that all set away and now this thing flies. You can see the gear reduction, how fast that motor spins just for an inch of movement back and forth. Got the triple four reefs in. Uh, went ahead and redid all the steering links and stuff to uh, some of the stuff I'd had on there was kind of janky. There was a lot of spacers and things like that. Just trying to clean up everything as we go. Um, all the suspension mounts and everything, I've used scale hardware, the shocks and uh, put Loctite where it needed to be and um, yeah I'm just keeping the same drive shafts for now I don't have any money at the moment to buy any drive shafts so we're just gonna rock that and I don't know where that goes to. oh that's for those those uh, ARB lights they each have their own connector and 
if you don't have a whole lot of spots on your receiver, you gotta have a Y adapter and have more wiring to tie up and clean up. But yeah, it's getting there. Better look at that four link truss. You can see it's kind of unique. Um, it is very low. The other one it set up a little bit higher and it had two different mounting points. And I was afraid if I put it on the back point, then the excess shaft would interfere with the rod ends. And yeah, so we just swapped all that out. And um, yeah, the shocks seem to be working well in the back. Everything is uh, jiving really well. But yeah, definitely got to do some springs and stuff up front because that motor's heavy. The transmission's pretty lightweight for the size. The main bulk of the weight up front is the bumper itself being welded to the chassis. So, But that's going to wrap it up for part two of this build, guys. Appreciate y'all watching, following along with the channel still. And um, yeah, next part, I think we will tune this thing, get some electronics mounted, and hopefully do a test run. And don't forget, we still have the scale interior to put back in the body. We gotta paint it and do all that jazz, so that's probably gonna be a video on itself doing a full interior because we've gotta weather it a little bit. I'm still thinking I'm gonna do red, um, but I've seen some other stuff here recently. Somebody was sending me some pictures of one they did and it looked pretty good, but I don't know about the, the red. I, I wanna try it, but we'll see where we end up. But I'm gonna wrap it up, guys. Appreciate y'all watching. Keep it scale. I'll see y'all in the next video.